Hi guys, so today I'm reviewing this electric skateboard that I got off of Amazon. Now I just first want to say this thing is so much fun. Now I've skated all my life and seriously like, wow. I mean, I feel like a little kid on this and all my buddies that I have uh, let try this out. I mean, they can't wipe the smiles off their faces. I feel a little geeky, our wives make fun of us, but seriously, so much fun. Uh, that being said, like I'm going to talk a little bit about the board itself. Now, it's a pretty high quality board. The uh, deck is made out of some high quality maple, has some nice flex to it uh, so that as you're going into turns, like it actually pushes out a little, it pops back out kind of like a snowboard. So it gets some good uh, rebound when you're carving with it down the street. Uh, it has a nice, uh, nice remote right here. It actually has some nice, it's not just hard plastic, it has kind of a velvety feel to it, which is kind of weird, but it actually makes it nice so that as your hand kind of gets sweaty as you're holding it, it doesn't feel like you're gonna, you know, it's gonna slip out of your hand or anything. Uh, just be cautious, this wheel right here, which is your brake, as well as your, uh, your gas or your, you know, your forward, forward wheel, uh, it's very sensitive, especially when you get to some of the higher uh, higher speed levels. This has five speeds. Definitely start off with level number one and then slowly work your way up. I mean, I've only made it just to uh, level three, which gets you to about, I don't know, about 18 miles an hour. And seriously, on a skateboard, 18 miles an hour is, is really fast. I mean, it's faster than you're going to go on a normal skateboard, like going down a hill. So be very careful with this. I mean, my word of caution is this board and any electric skateboard is not something that you want to be learning how to skateboard on. Very tempting to think that, hey, I can go out there, stand on it, and just take off, and it's going to be all good. Uh, slower speeds, yes, you're right. Uh, but as you get faster, things happen really quickly. So especially when you're on the street or you're in a parking lot, if you're not used to paying attention to the cars around you, your surroundings, the road, what's going on like that, like you can get into some dangerous situations really quickly. And I mean, like I said, I've been skateboarding all my life. I'm a snowboard instructor and I've gotten into some situations where I've almost, almost eaten it because I'm not paying attention enough. So definitely be very careful if you have kids. I mean, make sure they, they're proficient on the skateboard before you get this and make sure not to let them go to any of the higher, higher speed levels until you're comfortable that they're comfortable on it and that they're going to be safe. Uh, this board uh, has about, they say about a 10 mile range. I've gotten out to like about nine and a half miles. Once you hit nine miles, definitely make sure you're home and you charge it because I was out and yeah, I wasn't too far from my house, a couple of blocks, but <laughs> the battery died on me and it was a beast to try to skateboard home on this. Uh, the board uh, the board weighs, I mean, 20, 21 pounds, I think, something like that. It's definitely not something that you can just throw under your arm and like walk through the store with or something. Uh, so just be prepared for that. I know when I got the board, I wasn't expecting to be this heavy and it was like, oh my goodness, like this thing weighs a ton. But obviously you don't notice it when you're actually on it and you're riding. I really like the way the deck has created or the way they manufactured it. It actually has concave to it. I don't know if you can see it right there concave here in the middle so the edges are a little bit higher than the center and then both the front and the back have uh, are kind of concave angled up a little bit now this helps a lot for your foot positioning when you're actually out there riding the board and it helps for going into turns right because you're going to lean back uh, on your heels to turn one way toes the other and having this to kind of put your feet against really helps you uh, get some sharp turns because like other people have mentioned this board does not have a very good turning radius uh, i have loosened the trucks quite a bit and that has definitely helped and like i haven't had any trouble you know cruising down the street on sidewalks around parking lots but you do have to loosen the trucks and really lean into your turns to be able to do it really like these wheels they're really nice and soft i haven't had any issues with cracks or like little rocks and stuff you can't really go over any cracks bigger than what you might find riding up onto a you know to a driveway so maybe quarter of an inch half an inch anything bigger than that if you're going to any kind of speed the board's going to throw you off of it which i've done and it's not fun uh, so just be careful when you're doing that I've, i'm a little leery of going over speed bumps just because you have the batteries and the motor and everything underneath so I haven't done a lot of that. I'll usually avoid those as much as possible because I don't want to, you know, scrape up these things. Um, my one, not hesitation about it, but just something that to be aware of is the, 
motors are all built into the wheels. So I'm not sure they say they're really easy to replace the wheels once they wear down. Uh, but yeah, just be aware of that. I haven't had to do that yet, uh, but yeah, something to think about. It's not as easy as just taking the wheel off and then putting a new one on. Something that's really nice this thing comes with is its own skateboard tool. And I don't have it with me. It's actually in my tool chest right now. Forgot to bring it to uh, bring it with me right now. Uh, but it's it's amazing. It has uh, three different attachments on it for the different size bolts that you're going to find, and it also has a little like screwdriver attachment that has a Phillips and a Allen wrench on it, uh, which is really nice because all the screws on the deck are Allen Allen heads. Uh, something to make sure you do when you first get the board: make sure you tighten all your screws, check the nuts on the on the wheels and on the trucks, because when I got the board. Everything felt fine, but before I took it out, I did tighten it down and I found that the screws holding the batteries to the board were actually quite loose. And make sure you check those every time before you go out because with the amount of riding you're going to do on this thing, over all the cracks and bumps and everything in the road, these things will get loose on you. And so just make sure to tighten those down, uh, check everything before you take it out. Uh, other than that, I mean, this thing is a blast. Charging time is super quick. And yeah, I really like it.